Hello guys, while working on my Livewire kit set of Livewire components, I tend to improve or create new components now. And one of the older components that I wanted to improve was parent-child dependent dropdowns. If you click here, and if you click a demo, let's see what it does. It does country and city choice. Whenever you choose a country, city dropdown is automatically refreshed without refreshing the full page. And in the downloaded code for the component, which is free, by the way, this is free component. There are two free components inside that kit. So when you download that code, you have country dropdown, you have city dropdown, and also in the component, there's country, city, and everything is hard coded to country and city. And I thought, wouldn't it be better to have a reusable component for any parent and child dropdowns, whether it's country and city, whether it's category and product or anything similar. And I've created a reusable component, which became, if we go to our homepage at the bottom, scroll down, it became 22nd component on Livewire kit. And this is how it works locally. So in your form, in any Laravel form, you can add parent-child dropdown and another parent-child dropdown, and they work totally separately, independent of each other. So if I refresh the page, I can choose country from, for example, journey from to. So you choose United States, and then you choose US city, and country two could be United Kingdom, and for example, Birmingham, and you enter some journey name, and then post of the form gives you the result of country from, city from, country to, city to, or whatever variables you may pass here. So how does it work in the code? This is the way how you call that component. You call just parent child component. It doesn't know anything about countries or cities or anything. You pass all the parameters you need for that behavior. So model name of parent and model name of child, then visual label for both parent and child, then field names that need to be passed in the post request for Laravel. So country from and city from, and then relationship field name, I will show you in a minute what it means. Then it all goes into parent child component where all the properties have nothing to do with countries and cities. Again, it's parent and children data. In this case, there's also a design template for the demo, but for your projects, it's irrelevant. And in the mount, we just load the parents and children is empty. And then we update the parent value, updated parent value, not updated country. We take the children from child model name. So from this one with relationship, relationship field name. So this is what it does. So we're taking cities with country ID of value and assign the first row to the child first value. And in the blade, again, we have everything to do with parent and children. So this is a drop down for the parent and parent value is the wire model. And whenever parent value is updated, so this method name corresponds to this wire model, but the main form, the Laravel form gets this name and this name. So both are inputs, select drop downs, which will be passed to the main form. So the main form looks like this. So there's the main Laravel form and those live wire parent child components are included into that form. And basically that's it. I've kind of rewritten those country city dropdowns into parent child with parameters. You can see pretty much all code here on the screen, but if you want to get full component conveniently and get all the other 21 components, in total there are 22 components now, go to livewirekit.com and purchase all the components for a one-time payment of $19 currently. To be honest, I'm planning to raise the price a little bit when there's more components so if you're watching this video and the price is still 19, this is your chance to get it a bit cheaper for now. And if you want more tips on Laravel Livewire and Laravel in general, subscribe to this channel because I'm shooting the videos daily now. See you guys in other videos.